semiconductor NAND memory. I touched upon this on my chips um, video where I had talked about the importance of the semiconductor fab industry coming back to the United States. I told about what are the different players, who are the different players, how China stands to lose. I think the title of the video was Emperor Xi uh, being disrobed one garment at a time. A lot of things have happened based on this. And, and to understand all this, I want to tell you a few things about the importance of semiconductors. Yes, they are in our watches, they are in our phones, they are in just about everything we can think of. Yes, but the most important thing is what are the particular applications that drive the semiconductors? One for sure is smartphones. Smartphones as they become more and more powerful, they have more videos like for example, I'm recording this using my iPhone 12 and I will say that this has one of the best video qualities recorded and I'm just doing 1080p at 30 frames per second. But the quality is just outstanding. So this now means that the smartphone is your best video camera at hand. You don't need to have a separate video camera. That industry is kind of dying a quick death and everything that you would ever wanted to do, video recording, audio recording, making phone calls, uh, even using it for translations and things like that. A lot of things are now possible using the smartphone. So smartphone is one of the main drivers of smaller is better, faster chips and so on and so forth. The other thing is something that is not obvious to all of us, but something that is extremely important. And that is the storage that goes into your phone. The fact that you now have 32 gigabytes of storage, 64 gigabytes of storage, even 256 gigabytes of storage. All this is possible because the storage now is not a hard disk on your smartphone. It is what is called as solid state, which is called as also called as NAND. There are also flash called as NOR, but NOR has fallen away. NAND is the one technology that is really taken off. It used to be that NAND had a single level cell technology. Maybe I'm going too far. Let's back up a little bit. Solid state technology is what is today driving the fab industry because the more you miniaturize, the more memory you can pack into one small chip and therefore your smartphone can have more capacity. Keeping this in mind, China has been pushing its company called the YMTC to get the state-of-the-art storage technology. And I want you to read the one reference that I'm putting in the description section that will give you an idea of what are all the claims that YMTC is making and how it thinks that it is the leader in semiconductor NAN industry. And if that is true, and if even 30% of what they are claiming is true, that is serious competition for all the other NAND manufacturers such as Samsung, Western Digital, Micron, Hynix, Toshiba, and so on and so forth. So within the NAND flash industry, I'm not talking about the one in China, there is a lot of attrition and competition going on. For example, Western Digital acquired SanDisk but they haven't really been able to make giant strides that Sandus used to do on its own. So looks like they are kind of falling behind. Now, in the meantime, the CEO of Sandisk, after the acquisition of Sandisk by Western Digital, stay with me here, his name is Sanjay Mehrotra, is now the CEO of Micron. And Micron is a very focused memory manufacturer. Micron used to make DRAMs, the ones that go into your computer again, your smartphone again, but they've now really started pushing the NAND flash, mainly perhaps because it is Sanjay at the helm, he knows his memory, he knows that he has established, he created SanDisk with another person called Dr. Eli Harari, both of whom I know, I don't know if they know me, when I've met him a few times, I'm sure if, the, if I walk up to them and say, you know, I'm so and so, I said, yeah, I remember how are things, yeah, just kind of talk. There was a point at which one of my companies was uh, in acquisition talks with Sandisk. Didn't go anywhere, but that's a matter of, it, these things happen. Anyway, now what is happening is, looks like Western Digital doesn't want to really keep the flash part, which is used to be the Sandisk. And it is also possible that Micron might pick up this part. 
So Micron might become the undisputed NAND flash leader in the United States and they'll be duking it out with Samsung in Korea. Hynix is not that big a player. Toshiba again is falling behind in Japan. So really it's Micron versus the rest of the world with the way that is going and that would make Sanjay Mehrotra a very very powerful person. I mean we always talk about people like uh, you know Sundar Pichai and uh, um, Satya Nadella and, and to a lesser extent about uh, what's the name of the Adobe CEO, Shantanu Narayan. But many don't talk about Sanjay Mehrotra in the same breath. Sanjay is a very, very smart guy. He was also, he was one of the founders, I guess, in terms of what is this flash technology, how to store it and so on and so forth. Now, remember I told you about SLC or single level cell. What happens is, Flash technology, think of it as a grid, matrix, okay? And in this matrix, the lowest component is called as a cell. Now, those of you who know this technology inside out, don't uh, try to poke fun at what I'm saying. I might be a little bit wrong here and there, but the idea here is to tell the general public what, how flash is designed. So, keep, you can, you can point me my errors. It's just that, you know, these are some, things that I try to oversimplify sometimes just for the greater understanding of everyone. Okay, so a cell in a NAND is called as the smallest programming block and it is also the one that holds the charge. Now if you think about that cell having one state, a single level, what that means is that this cell can have a binary value of either 1 or a 0. If you have a three level cells called as TLC, then what happens is the cell can have a values ranging from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and so on all the way up to 1, 1, 1. That means we are having three bits in that particular cell. Now whenever errors occur, right? whenever the errors occur, remember that this is solid state memory. So once you program it, it stays that way except there is always leakage capacitance will be there and there will be some leakage and because of that this particular cell can lose its charge in a single level cell uh, in a single level cell if it is holding a one it might go to zero and, and you may be able to have a simple error correcting code to correct it think about three level cell in three level cells the cell can have eight different states and when the leakage happens, it can be any one to any other. So that the error correction for that gets a lot more complicated. Now the error correction for all these things was uh, you know, discovered by a professor and, and this is used not only in flash memory but also in uh, smartphone cell communications and so on and so forth. The name of the person is Bitterby. He's one of the big inventors. There are also others who have done this. And, and there are you know, many kinds of uh, uh, error correction codes that are possible. But just remember that the more levels you pack in a cell, the bigger the error correction you need. And to do the error correction, where are you going to keep the error correction? You'll have to put the error correction code also in the same storage. So you have storage which has got good memory where you can put the error correction data and then the usable memory this may be 5% this may be 95% you get the idea so there's a complex packaging that goes on in making the NAND cells and the other thing that needs to be done is you have to manage the NAND remember that in a hard disk drive you can read or write to any level like for example I think the lowest uh, size is what is called the page size in windows it is 4 kilobytes uh, a sector in Windows is 512 bytes. In other operating system, it might be different. But in, in a so hard, hard drive, you can write to that. But in a solid state drive, you cannot do that. You have something called as a page. You have to have a fresh page to write. You cannot just arbitrarily read and write. You need to do read and then modify and then write. So. Uh, Writing on a flash becomes a lot more complicated. On top of that, you have this error correction code. You can see that flash, while it is small, compact, draws less current, it also has a huge write challenge. Anyway, this has been mastered. It's not like it has not been mastered. This is pretty mature technology now, except that now miniaturization is going on. So let's get back to YMTC. YMTC claims 
that they can make the cheapest flash possible. And if they can pull it off, this whole flash market around the world, multi-billion dollar industry is going to just collapse and China will end up owning that market. Is this going to happen? We don't know. Because on the one side, they, everybody talks about how many things YMTC has done. But on the other side, we are talking about many of the big companies that were supposed to be managing fabs, the CEOs being fired by Xi Jinping and a big amount of churn going on there. So what is really the truth? No one knows, but as things stand today, Micron has a good chance to leapfrog its competition and be a really, really effective and low cost memory maker. However, I believe that Micron has its own fab in uh, Boise, I believe. Uh, also, it may have some fabs abroad, maybe in China even, maybe in Korea. So those things has to be kept in mind as this conflict grows. Uh, you, we have a multi-part uh, conversation with Elmer, which will throw more light on what is happening in the war between, or not war, but in the conflict between China and Taiwan. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Another request, please send in your comments. This is a little bit of gyan. I know it is a little bit of gyan, but it is important for you, the layperson, to understand what really drives the miniaturization, the power that goes into a smartphone. It also tells you when a, a neta comes and says that we are going to do this thing in Atmanirbhar, how much coverage India has to do, how much catching up India has to do. Fortunately for India, many people in the highest levels of technology are uh, you know, available to help, but India needs to be able to properly make use of this talent. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.